All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Quantum Nomads TV. It's Formula Friday, and we got a very special guest today, uh, Dr. Vaughn Cook, who we're going to get to uh, in just a moment. Uh, if you're brand new, if you're brand new here, just put 111 in the chat so we can welcome you and we uh, know you're brand new. And um, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to be talking about a technology called Limbic Arc Technology. Uh, Dr. Cook is actually the creator and we have them on right now. So welcome to all the new people, Angela, Kirsten, London, Wilson, Rhonda, uh, welcome. And why don't we put where we're from? Why don't you put where you guys are from in the chat and we'll see where everyone's calling in from here, uh, connecting from. We got Hawaii, we got Florida, Texas, Canada, New Zealand, Texas, Finland, Denmark, Washington. It's going fast. Boston, Georgia. I can't read this fast. India. We got India. We got Kelowna. That's in uh, Canada. Michigan. United Kingdom. New Jersey. Finland again. Jamaica. United Kingdom. New Zealand. North Carolina. We got people from all over the world. So good morning. Good evening. Uh, good afternoon, depending on where you're from. And uh, for some of you, it's already tomorrow. You already know what's 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 going to happen for us. <laughs> so uh, welcome everyone from all over the world. Before we get going, for all the new people, we're going to be sharing about a technology called Limbic Heart Technology. And I'm just going to share a quick disclaimer before we get into that. The Limbic Heart Technology is not intended to diagnose, cure, or treat any disease or medical condition. But what you're going to be hearing from is people's um, experience, personal experiences with that this technology and you'll hear from the creator of this technology today which is fantastic so let's get started with um people's favorite boost and why so fiona what's your favorite boost and why good morning and aloha from hawaii um i can't say enough about the custom boost it uh really lit me on fire yesterday and i sat with uh three of my family members and uh, really just kind of had diary of the mouth about how excited I was about the custom boost and what this was. And tonight at dinner, all three of them will have their very own um, trial account so they can check it out for themselves. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Fiona. Michelle Moore, what's your favorite boost and why? Okay, I'm following uh, Wayne uh, Parson who got his memory back and we have a bunch of in, in our group that we all want to improve the brain and the cognitive wellness. So we're going to uh, combine the uh, two uh, brain boosts that are on the new website and the uh, prosperity, focus and result. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Michelle. So glad you're with us. Uh, Stro, what's your favorite boost and why? Hey everybody, uh, peace and blessings to everyone. Um, yes. Yo, I, I just totally experienced the custom boost personally for the first time. I didn't understand it when you guys were talking about it and I joined your calls, but now I understand it based off just suggesting it to somebody that is my family that had that told, was telling me about lupus. And this is, we were on the call yesterday and I was like, I haven't heard any testimonies of anybody that has lupus using this. So let's just do a custom for your first spark scan. Let's do the custom for what your body's specifically reactioning, uh, re risk requesting. And that'll create like your own lupus boost. And, but I gave her an example by doing mine and I have had it running continuously. And I feel so, I feel like my most authentic self that I've felt since I've been like, since the first time I used this technology and it's amazing. I've been turned on, I'm lit and I love it because it's all about authenticity in this life. You know what I mean? That's what we got to share with each other, our true selves, right? And our experience, our own unique experience because we all relate because we're all connected, right? Man, I don't know, man. I just love the custom boost now. I'm like, that's my thing now. <laughs> But bless and love, thank you for listening. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, man. That was awesome. Um, Cosmos, what's your favorite boost and why? Okay. My favorite boost has always been vision, and I'll stay with it. But I'm, I've leaned heavily towards 
custom boost because when I did my last custom boost, I noticed I went down to 79%, but I noticed I had a lot of high 90%. And when I looked at every single ingredient, there was somehow, it was somehow relating to overall what I was feeling. So I have definitely been following on that. And because of that, I've actually added um, mold and fungi to my ordinary boost. So for that, I am very grateful. Thanks, Dr. Cook. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you for sharing Cosmos. And next is another Michelle. Uh, what's your favorite boost and why? You hear me okay? Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to try to make this fast because I'm babysitting three-year-old twins right now. But um, so when I first started, I had really, really bad heartburn, and I ran the esophagus and the uh, esophaburn and the digestion, and it got better. So that was my favorite boost. And I had a run-in with some serious friction, and I was really, really angry. I was very, very upset. And someone said, why don't you run calm? So I read, ran calm. And like an hour later, I was floating, and I was like, this is amazing. So that was my favorite. Uh, in when I came back to Las Vegas a few weeks ago, I started babysitting for these twins, and I needed energy, like, so I cannot tell you, because I'm a very laid-back, easygoing, you know, lazy, yeah, I'm a couch potato, and I needed to have focus and energy for these kids, so I put that on the other day, and bam, so that was my favorite boost. Most recently, I had an aha moment. Um, my mentor, Malik, reached out to me. I was sharing with him how my life just seemed, I asked for something and it just happens now. And I have like these huge goosebumps and everything is just flowing. And it's not a lot of effort. I'm used to a life of like effort and struggle and suffering and massive hijacking because my subconscious had all these beliefs that weren't true. So he had said, you know, Michelle, you are tapping into that infinite potential. And this is what you were made for. You are good enough. You know, you do have what it takes and everything. And uh, he said, you know, those, those beliefs are crumbling. And I'm like, yeah, I can feel it. It's like a brick wall and my beliefs are crumbling. So I'm not saying it as eloquently as John was saying it, but literally the custom spark scan has balanced me after three months and has just deprogram all that incorrect information that my subconscious held as truths for so long and i was on a path that just wasn't for me and so this has opened up a new life i mean i i'm so super stoked i love you guys i love love i love dr cook and i just love feeling like this it's it's the best thank you for letting me share Thank you so much, Michelle. We're happy you're here. Um, over to Pam, what's your favorite boost and why? Well, today must be the custom boost day, but I just get so excited every time I do it, I kind of guess what I think it's gonna be. And then it is mind blowing every single time because how does it know that I need vision and how does it know, it, and now it's telling me that I'm fat. So it's like, how does it know that when it doesn't see me? So. It is just the most fabulous thing ever, and it's just such a joy to be a part of. So thanks, everybody. Thank you, Pam. Thanks for sharing. How about Doug Lowen? What's your favorite boost and why? Hey, hey Daniel. Thanks, brother. Um, you know what? Pretty simple. Um, I, I tried inflammation the first day um, I signed up last Friday um, because I hear everybody's got inflammation, and that's a cause of illnesses and injuries and that kind of thing. And um, I go for long walks. Um, I'm in Canada, so I say 12 kilometers, which is probably about seven or eight miles. And I just love walking, but my knees have just been aching. The first day, literally my Saturday walk, the last five days I've walked, I haven't worn my knee braces at all, um, which I've never, I've never experienced taking something and actually experiencing results. So um, yeah, it was awesome. Thank you. Uh, thanks everybody. Thanks Dr. Cook, it's great. Thanks for sharing, eh? Yeah, brother. <laughs> Fellow Canadian, you know what it's about. <laughs> okay, uh, Trish from India, what's going on? What's your favorite boost and why? Hello, everyone. First of all, I am super grateful to Dr. Cook because I'm getting my life back with Limbic Art. I've got multiple health problems, and 
all-time favorites are custom energy and focus it's like super amazing and inflammation boost actually helped me get rid of excruciating pain after 11 years i've got endometriosis and i think <laughs> it's only a sinner can get endometriosis it is so painful i got rid of that pain and um vision my vision is almost normal it was 0.75 and now it's almost normal and i use detox also because i had some problem in my kidney i actually developed adrenaline fatigue so i ran that and i felt so good all that was happening you know all the symptoms are almost gone after running detox right now i'm on kidney support and kidney flash kidney flash right yeah and it's flush sorry it's like amazing amazing is the word and like michelle said spiritually also i you know experienced so much of spiritual high i've had so many breakthroughs so i think this is the most amazing thing that happened to me in 2020 especially after you know 2019 was just crashed everything for me and 2020 with part my life just started to take off so thank you so much dr cook and thank you everyone over here thank you trish thanks that trish. was awesome one last one craig hawkins what's your favorite boost and why all right well um, you know, I, I've been doing a lot of reading where it says I've always had the inflammation on where it's that digestion through your gut is where most of your immune system, you know, is, is that. So I combine the digestion with the, uh, um, vitamins and minerals as well as some of the, uh, enzymes and boy, amazing more energy just from that alone. And I was pretty, I wasn't expecting getting more energy, but it really has helped. So. Thank you, Dr. Cook, for all these uh, incredible uh, ingredients you've put in there. Thank, Thank you, Jay. everybody, for sharing your favorite boost. That really helps everybody to share that. That's how we learn, because what we can't do alone, we can do together, right? And so now I'm going to turn it over to my friend, uh, my good friend, Bob Byram, to take over. It is Saturday morning in uh, New Zealand and Australia. I was just going to ask you guys, is this COVID thing over yet? <laughs> anyway, uh, no. So, no, <laughs> okay, just, just, just thought I'd ask, since you guys are in the future. And, uh, and then also, um, Dr. Cook, I, I, we were joking around earlier, but uh, we just crushed the new record uh, with having you on our show today. So we appreciate that. We have a, a record audience. Um, we, we, wanted to, we wanted to start off today, guys, and we wanted to ask uh, Dr. Cook a few questions, kind of you know, let's get to know him um, as a team. He's been doing this for quite some time. In fact, um, I was just going to ask you, I know it's taken you a lot, a lifetime, Dr. Cook, but uh, have you, you know, in the last 40, 35, 40 years, something like that, um, how did this all get started? Because you, you know, you started off with all of this years ago, and then 16 years ago, you started a, a company called Zydo. Um, where did this all come from, all this concept that you've come up with here? Well, it came from uh, personal experience, so it's fun to hear everybody else's experience. Um, back in the, well, when I was a young man in my teens, I actually developed allergies, uh, really bad allergies. And uh, I tried everything. I tried uh steroid shots, I tried different prescription meds, uh, anything I could get my hands on, and nothing really worked. The best I could do was when I would carry three different prescriptions, and I would take one one day, and, and, and I could take it for two or three days, and then I would acclimate to it. And then I would move to the next prescription, I could take that for three days, and the next one for three days. So I was just rotating through these prescription drugs and, and really not getting much relief. Fortunately, as I got older, into my t early 20s, I actually outgrew the, uh, the allergies. But then uh, I got married, and my wife and I moved our family uh, when I was in my early 30s to Las Vegas, Nevada, and my allergies just came back with a vengeance. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to a friend of mine, uh, who one of my neighbors in Las Vegas, his name was Bill Roberson, and uh, I was 
telling him, you know, I was whining at him. <laughs> and he said, well, it's probably just something in your yard that you're not used to. And uh, that's what you're allergic to. So he said, I have this piece of equipment in my office. I don't use it in my practice. It's kind of a hobby, but it, but it can figure out what you're sensitive to. So tomorrow, what I want you to do is go around in your yard and break a twig off of everything, every plant in the yard, bring it down to my office at five o'clock. That's when I close the doors and I will uh, get out this equipment and we'll see what we can find out. So the next day I went down, I had three grocery bags full of twigs and he pulled out this piece of equipment and it had a, it was like a pan and it had a metal tip to it and, and then a brass handle. It was essentially, it was an ohm meter is what it amounted to. And he would take this stylus and he would touch it to acupuncture points on my fingers. And in between each probe, he would put a different twig on top of his, his uh, meter. It had a plate up there. He called it the test plate. And when he had finished testing me, uh, you know, emptied all three of those grocery sacks. He said, well, the only two things that you're showing any reaction to uh, are oleander and pyrocantha. And so um, then what he did is he, he went over to his cabinet and he got a, uh, another machine out and he got out a little, a little three ounce dropper bottle with the, you know, the squeezy tip in the top and, and he got out a fifth of vodka. And I thought, oh, this is really getting interesting. Uh, but he poured a little bit of the vodka into this bottle, put the lid back on. He put the bottle in one well on this new machine. And then he, then he took the two twigs and he put those in. There was two wells on top and the two twigs went in the other well. And then he twisted some dials and he said, okay, it's, it's working. And then he explained to me that what was happening is this machine was transferring the energy from the twigs and putting, writing it onto the liquid molecule in the bottle. And he said, the reason I use alcohol is because it's a preservative, but there's the alcohol and the water combination actually holds memory pretty well. The, the whole experience was really weird. Uh, I mean, it was, uh, the thing that kept me interested in it was, A, I had allergies so bad that I would have done anything to get some relief. And the other one is, with, it was that Bill was a credible guy. He wasn't... Uh, you know, he wasn't just somebody who drove into town and he was doing this off the back of his truck. And, and so I thought, well, you know, if he's a legitimate guy and I need help, why not? So when he was through, he handed me this bottle and he said, I want you to take uh, three drops or 10 drops of this and put it under your tongue three times a day. I said, okay, I'll do it. So I went home and I was religious. I faithfully did it. And 10 days after I took my first dose, my allergy symptoms just went just like that. They just turned off just that fast. And I thought, this is, this can't be this vodka. It's got to be something else. And so I, I said, maybe it's just that the oleanders and the pyrocanthus aren't blooming or, you know, they're not pollinated anymore. So I went out in the front. That's where the, the pyrocanthus was. And it was just going crazy. It was just as bloomy as it ever had been. I went in the backyard where the oleanders were. And they were the same. They were just still going crazy. The only thing that had changed was I was taking this medicine that, that, uh, or this remedy that, that uh, Bill had given me. And that was so dramatic in my life that I got, uh, I got involved. And Bill actually introduced me to another doctor, a medical doctor in Las Vegas. His name was Fuller Royal. Fuller had a clinic and he did a lot of energy testing and a lot of energy medicine. And, and then uh, maybe I'm giving you way more information than you want, but, <laughs> but Fuller introduced me to a guy named Roy Curtin and Roy is a physicist and Roy had a company that built the equipment that, uh, Dr. Royal used in his clinic. So anyway, I went to work for Roy's company for a while and then, uh, left and I started to build similar equipment. And I, so I've been in this business now for, I've been in the energy medicine business for probably 36 years so i know i don't look that old but i am well you got to be at least 37 yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> so 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 several years ago then yeah, you so you've you've had this company that's doing very well zydo for the last 16 years 
And then several years ago, you decided to bring on some new technology, which we're starting to experience right now with the limbic arc. How did that all come to be? Well, the, um, I actually built the first limbic arc about 22 years ago. And um, it, I built it as a learning accelerator. So it, it wasn't as elegant as what we have today because we didn't have the internet. And we didn't have a lot of other things. But what, we, what I discovered was you can actually take a textbook, as an example, and you can convert it to digital information, transfer it energetically onto a carrier, and we were using a laser, and then we would then inject that information into the body just by shining the laser that had been loaded with the information. Um, we did some tests, and we found that if you took a, a text... And, and we didn't never take a text, the whole textbook, but if you take a, a, uh, some material and you uh, download it and then you study the material, you will score 10 to 30% better on a test. And uh, the, the problem was 22 years ago when, when we built this, and then I, I went out to try to sell it because I thought, this would be a great consumer device. I mean, it makes people smarter. And uh, I talked to people about it, and their eyes would just instantly glaze over. It was just, it was ahead of the market, and uh, it wasn't going to be a financial success. And so I think I built about 50 of those or 100 of those pieces of equipment. I sold it to, to doctor friends of mine, but then I just shelved the whole idea. And uh, then uh, a couple of years ago, uh, Ron Spence and I, Ron and I have known each other for probably gosh, 20 years or better. And one day Ron called me and he said, hey, can you build some equipment? I've got an idea or I've got, you know, I ran into this idea and what do you think? And hey, we got talking and, and I said, look, Ron, we can build better than what you're asking for. And uh, so why don't we put our technology energy to work and why don't you put your networking, network marketing experience to, to work and let's see what we can come up with. So that was the birth of Limbic R. And uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun right from the beginning. Wow. Well, and, and my understanding is the Spark Scan just came on board, I think, last August. So we don't know any – most everyone on this call, we don't know any different than the Spark Scan and the Custom Boosts. And we're just blown away with that technology. So how did that come to be? The technology that we use in Zyco um, – well, let me take you back, you know, 35 years – the first technology I built was very similar to what Bill Roberson had in his clinic. We used a stylus, a hand mask. We were using galvanic skin response, measuring acupuncture points. And uh, the challenge with that is the learning curve on that technology is very steep, meaning you either do it or you don't. You, I mean, you need to become an expert or you just get frustrated and quit using it. And, and so what I wanted to develop was an easier way to use galvanic skin response as a feedback loop without the learning curve that this stylus posed. And so uh, that's where this, I, the idea came. Uh, we built what's called a hand cradle. It looks like a big mouse, and it has multiple contact points on it, and you just rest your hand on it. And we, we read the energy of the body, and we're looking for coherence. Anyway, that's so so... Um, so I've got a lot of experience with biocommunication, with, with interfacing a computer with a human body and, and transmitting information back and forth in a meaningful way at a subconscious level. About 10 or 12 years ago, I, had a, I met a, a guy who became a good friend. His name's Calvin Young, and Calvin and I uh, collaborated and built a piece of voice technology. So uh, this technology, it turned, voice actually carries an incredible amount of information. Um, if, for example, uh, someone calls me on the phone and I answer the phone and I say hello and they say, hello, Vaughn, in two words, I can know their gender, their approximate age, their state of health, generally, what their mood is, what part of the world they were raised in as a child, uh, and whether and, and whether they know me or not, you know, if somebody says calls me by my first name, I think, well, maybe they know me, or maybe they're trying to, 
you know, give me the impression they know me. But all of that stuff comes out with just two words. So the it turns out that the reason there's so much information in the voice is because it requires your entire anatomy to make voice. So when you speak, you've engaged your brain, your vocal cords, your, your whole thorax to get the stuff done, and usually your arms and your legs and other body parts that you move around. So by the time voice gets out, it carries all of the information of your body, and it turns out that voice is also topic specific. In other words, when I speak about uh, my father, my, I have a different voice than when I talk about my mother. Now, you'll still recognize that it's me speaking, but because my perception around my father is different than my perce the perception I have of my mother, it's that information is carried in my voice. So we built this technology, and it's, it's, uh, it does what's called perception reframing. We can actually expand your vision in about 20 minutes in ways that it's just it's, it's crazy to do. Anyway, the, the reason I'm telling you that story is because we have a lot of experience in voice analysis. So between this biocommunication and the voice analysis, with the Spark scan, the goal was we want to be able to get a real-time um, report without having direct contact with the body. And, and the way we know we could do that is, okay, let's, let's tap voice because voice is, it gives us all that information. And then the other piece, which is the tactile response. So we, we give you the target and then you touch it. Well, the timing between when the target appears and when you touch it, that's actually information that then goes into creating the spark. So the spark then becomes a real time piece of bioinformation that you provide to the limbic arc. That, in, that spark then is used to ignite an algorithm that then processes the library of info boost ingredients. And because the spark is unique, the results are always unique. And because voice and your response is real time, the result is you get a ranking of information there that relates to real time need. And that's why, that's why it's so uh, miraculous really, you know, it's just because we've applied those principles in a way that gives us the feedback that we want. Awesome. Well, here's that million dollar question, or I guess in our case, the billion dollar question is how does that information then get to us? Well, the, the way we, um, the way we deliver the information is uh, we've tapped into a quantum physics concept called entanglement. Now, entanglement is usually talked about at a, at a micro level. You know, you talk about the uh, entanglement of electrons. But it turns out that this principle that's, that has application at a quantum level, at a very small level, also has an application at a much larger level. Probably all of us have had the experience of um, somebody comes to mind, like maybe one of your friends that you haven't talked to for six months, and you think, I wonder how Bill's doing. And all of a sudden the phone rings, and lo and behold, it's Bill. And you go, wait a minute, how did that happen? Or you think, oh, I for some reason, I just think I ought to call home. And you call home, and all of a sudden, there's some situation that you need to be involved with at home. So we all have those kind of psychic experiences, but those are really just field effects. Uh, it turns out that everyone is entangled. We're all connected energetically at, a, at this quantum level. And so what we have done with the limbic arc is we have taken advantage of that. And when you... When you download the app and you create an account for yourself, you actually are creating a, uh, essentially, a, what would we call it? Maybe it's a post office box. I don't know what you would call it. But, but your account becomes a unique connection to you from our server in the cloud. The Olympic Arc server, which is actually is stored in the cloud, so we, we use multiple servers all over the world. So we have a lot of redundancy, but 
you, you create an account, and then when you select the items for the info boost and activate it, it's then directed through your account specifically to you, and it's called a field effect. It's not like we send you a signal. You don't have to leave your telephone turned on or the app active for it to work. Once you've activated it, it's gone. And you can turn your phone or your computer off and it's still going for however long you set it to go for. And it's the field effect. So the information is transmitted at a, at, through this quantum connection to you and your body, because your body is built to process information, your body picks up the information and information can create physiological effects. And uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how it works. Well, as, as my friends in London say, brilliant. I, I, I just love it. <laughs> and I know everybody on here, I'm watching all the comments come up and they're, and they're loving every minute of this. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Quantum Nomads TV.